Form of Dramatic, trying to keep touch with Bayern Munich. We've got a chance to close the gap today. Can we do it? Let's find out. What's happening, folks? And welcome to another episode of Dortmund Rising. If you're excited for today's episode, hit that like button down below. And more importantly, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I'll wait till you do that. I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for them. Uh, it is, I'm waiting for them to hit the subscribe button. I'm not going to... Fine, I'll, I've, got to continue, I've got to continue the video. Please hit the subscribe button anyway. Um, and down below, obviously, Twitch channel live on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays with work, permitting and other issues, lining up correctly. And also down below will be the second channel soon as well. Uh, the, the content there will be coming out soon. I'm just deciding what game to start with. Uh, it's going to be non-football stuff. So I'm just trying to decide what game I want to play first. So, stay on page of Fernando. Because he scored last episode. Uh, the winning goal against Stuttgart. Um, and he's now getting more football. And you'll see how he's done off camera in a second. But yeah, I think this guy's... I think I've settled on this guy as my long-term long -term Haaland successor. If not... Um, if not rotation player already. So yeah, games off camera, mix I would say, but let's see, let's have a look at what's, what's happened. So yeah, we struggled a little bit um, against Hanover and Mainz. Mainz was, only, Mainz was the only game they actually didn't loop, we didn't play well in. Every other game we played, we were fine in. The big news though is that last today, Bayern Munich lost to Hoffenheim 2-1. So we can close the gap a bit further today. And we've got Leipzig as well. Now obviously, um, Leipzig won't be easy, but we've got a good record against them. So we're doing two live comments today. Next episode will be me just doing the Barcelona game on its own. Um, and then after that, we'll assess where we go from there. It might be Barcelona on its own again. It depends on, you know, actually it probably would be Barcelona on its own again because that would make sense, wouldn't it? Unless the tie is basically over with, then I might um, skip all these games here and get to Bayern Munich. It depends what happens in the, in the next episode, but let's go, guys. Hopefully a three points today in the first game of the episode. We've, we, we, we've recovered a little bit from our bit of wobble, wobble that we had. But we can close the gap today. A big chance to put... The problem is, though, we've got Leipzig next. And that's not going to be easy to um, win. So let's see how we get on, folks. Hopefully three points. Here we go, folks. We need to get a win here today. We really do. I want to get... I want to get... I'm, I'm torn between being gung-ho and getting the league or just focusing on the Champions League. Because I feel like that's the next step. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, Kessier is starting to is starting to annoy me now. He's really starting to give away a lot of bad fouls, and that's just stupid, isn't it? From him, three minutes in, two foots a guy from behind. Well, it's going to be a very hard game now with down ten men. Um, but maybe we've got the the individual quality to find that find find that goal. Demir gets a bit of space there, but Erling Haaland and just doesn't fall for him unfortunately on that occasion. Just the breaks went 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 as well on the clearances. Break it long range. He goes for it. Easy save from the goalkeeper. Well, easy, easy save, easy catch from the goalkeeper. 
throw it now to uh, Alev. Finds Demir. On the right hand side, finds Alev again. Back to Demir. Was it to the his phone? Goal here and scores! Don't win the one, word of it, word of nil. And with 10 men, it's a fantastic goal to score. Um, to be fair, it's not been any highest at all, really, since the red card. And they were nothing worth mentioning. But well done, Demir has been. Re- I think I've been justified with my decision to keep on right wing. It was a bit, it was a big call to start him after after last season, but he's really stepped up um, and done amazingly well. And what a goal that could, what a big, big goal that could be. Berkey. Now Squinia to get the ball. Can he find a pass forward here? He can. Demir again has got it. If he goes again, what can he do with this? He's got a lot of men around him though, but he's got he's done really well to a shot and goal, and normal scores is again. Again, more evidence that he's just about starting him. Throw in. Again, I know nine ten men, but in the way he should be able to cross a bit quicker than that. He seems to be a bit not as gung-ho in his, in his tackling as he was um, early in the season. We are getting, we, we are, we are, we've got ten men now, so we've got to be getting, giving a bit of leeway with the whole, the whole like defensive thing. But, again, see, this is something to talk about. I know we're down to him, but he's got to get across the quicker. He's, this one I'm talking about, you see, why do wingers not Realise danger in these areas. And almost got right. I'm going to, I want this I want to answer in the conversation. How do I get these guys to actually just work out that defensively they've got to you know I don't want to man mark because if I'm if man mark and get pulled apart, but surely they can see the danger there. There's the ball across to him, he's free again. For on goal here. Yeah, it's an issue. Wide defending is an issue, but it's 10 men's there, but still, should, there's two guys over there. That's half time as well. 1 0 against Werder Bremen. But I may just tell my winger to do it. I don't, I don't want to do it. Um, but I'm going to have to do it because he's just getting, especially down this right hand side at least. I'm going to just, I'm going to just gonna turn to Mark. Um, Odwin, Odwin. But yeah, he's trying to find a balance of not man marking, but making sure that when those fullbacks get forward, my wingers are cottoned onto it and they actually go, yes, you know what? I'm going to actually track, the, track them. Um, maybe it's just training in my defending. I don't know. Or some kind of tactical change. I'm not quite sure yet. He's really well here. Needs to get five, five past somebody here. And he's just throwing the ball. To, the pass on to the fullback. Let's get the ball to the fullback and then reset for the re, reset the attack. Well, under me, good closing down. Can't pick out a pass though. He's found him. Bruno Fernandes! What a strike from Bruno Fernandes! Dortmund 2, Road to Bremen, no, San, uh, Sancho. Bruno had a bit of a dip in recent weeks, and I've had a little word with him and said, you know, you can do better. He agreed. Well done, Demir, though. Great Harry in there, or poor, defending from the goal from, from them. And what a hit from Bruno that is. Keep him looking back with it. Maybe the web weather, paid power, but 2 0 with 10 men. What a score. And that goes, that goes in even more bigger than the first one. I think it for Bruno Fernandes. Could it be free. It is! I hate those freaky highlights. I'll still call it out when I score them. Dortmund free, word of Bremen nil with ten men. It's very, very weird that we're doing this, but I will take it. And Bruno's found his form again and a free kick, which again I hate these free kicks. This feel weird when they're going. But three 0 that should secure the win. Very nice Ricardo finds Demir, fixes back to Bruno. Bruno kills it in towards Sancho, cleared back to Demir, walks it again to Sancho, and it's four. I mean, I get it's where they're Bremen. I get that, and they're, they're low on the table. But to score four goals, we've got ten men. is actually very, very impressive for me, anyway. Good point, Bruno Fernandes, and Sancho gets in there first, doesn't get there. But the Mia again, there's volleys it in, and this little header from Sancho, four nil. Not only does it help our points total, but it gets, it gets our goal a bit higher as well. Given that it's given that it's now four nil, and the game's pretty much over now. I'm gonna take Sancho off and bring on uh, Gittins. And take off Endombele for Almo and Bellingham off for um, Bruno. Just to give it a bit of rest to some players. Because with 4 0, this game's pretty much. Well, it is done now. Let's get a little goal here and then we get a bit of energy for me. Ball in the box. Keeper doesn't come out for it. It's well enough. And it was offside. Cannot ask for a better performance than that, lads, can you? 4 0 against ten, with 10 men. Kissy is doing my nutting with those stupid tackles and just getting a lot of suspensions. Well, it feels like he's getting a lot. It feels like it feels like he's getting a lot of suspensions. But Dortmund for word and nil cannot fault them in that game. Other than Kessier going rogue and just doing two two footer for no apparent reason. Uh, luckily though, the code of conduct kicks in, so we don't, we don't have to piss him off. But look at the goal difference. That is very handy. 
and obviously the top five now is the, the, the too far behind us now. We're gonna it's top four's done. Um, which I know is sounds weird after being winning the league three times more, but it's something we've got to keep an eye on. Um, so yeah, back for Leipzig. Sim again, please be nice. There's no record. Well, guys, match number two and some bad news off camera. We had an issue with Burke. He's got a viral vi- virus. I think it's a was it a, a cold out for three days. So I sent him home. I didn't want to do it in the, at the training at, at the club because obviously that can make it worse and spread spread other people. So uh, so Vander Vander Vaught is in the team today. Big moment, big big test for him, really. Um, I'd like to make him my second, my new goalkeeper, but I just don't know if he's got the ability to progress this season. Not last year was very good on FM, but yeah, I'm still not quite sure this year. So yeah, let's um, let's go again. Hopefully, they can actually perform to the level they did last time. But no red card. Obviously, no Kessie today because of the red card in the previous game. Leipzig, on paper, tough game, but in practice recently, we've not done that bad against them. It's very rare we get absolutely thrashed by them. They always win. Obviously, we've had lost games against them in the past. Um, the recent form is not great. Um, but this is what happens, folks. We are coming into this game in great form after a great result against Werder. Hopefully, the team can um, carry that over today. We're well, probably going better than last time because we didn't get Mango Manson off. But obviously, it, 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 we, haven't, we haven't scored a goal yet. Melito. Pablo, Pablo Vieira. Again, that the movement there was not really... Oh, we're passing the punch area here and a goal for Leipzig. It's just not tracking runners again. I want to see it again because I feel like there's a there's an easy marking job that can be done on that one. Leipzig won by uh, Bayern Dortmund nil. I want to see it again. The guy who scores the goal. Yeah, he just I don't know what Tagatigo is doing there. Again, marking, marking, marking. We need to sort this out because it's not a good goal because he's completely free in the penalty area. Created nothing so far today. Tagafico finds Endombele. Who stands there and gets the ball back though. Endombele. To Barrow. Barrow finds Tagafico. Back in the box to Demir. And it's in. It's 1 1. I thought the keeper had caught it, but it's an equaliser. Dortmund won. Leipzig won. Um, Tagafico at fault for the first goal, but fair play to him. He got this He got this an equaliser. I want to see this again because it looked like it was a keeper error. Okay, maybe not an error, but maybe keep it, keep it could have done better thing, maybe. 1-1, one, one, our first shot of the game as well, and hopefully we'll get some, we'll, we'll get some more. Throw in. Oh, you, you're... What are we doing? Discipline is... is it, well, I don't know why they do the charade of going to the VAR, because we know it's a penalty, but it's a push. But KC2 foot... What? Oh, bloody hell. Stupid errors. It's very rare we concede goals to quality play. It seems to be errors and bad different errors or stupidity. And why are you pushing him over? Against my second-choice goalkeeper, good luck with this, uh, lad. Come on, you can save it, mate. Come on. Oh, he got he got his hand to it. 2-1, but down to a poor marking decision from Telefico and a push as well from a defender. It's just ridiculous. Why are they pushing people over? There's no reason to do it. And how, how close did he get to it? Maybe he should have done better. Maybe. But then again, I don't know. But 2-1 from two sloppy goals, really. Half time. And this is the problem we've got this year. Is too many errors are costing us in matches right now. Uh, and that's why we're, we're behind them in buying the title race. Chance of the second half. I just don't understand where this sloppiness has come from in defence in the last few weeks. Um, Haaland's gone missing since he came back from injury. At the moment, uh, but just the way we can see the goals is so annoying. It's either poor marking or a stupidity. Bruno, beats his man. Can not find a ball in the box? Or oh, down the line, found Demir. Demir, cross to Barrow, blocked. Bruno Fandes to Sancho, and this is the problem now with break. And again, uh, well, this isn't working. Um, literally creating sod two. Um, so I'm making a change. I'm going to put not Bruno there. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. Um, I'm going to put them there, do that, make Bruno a Mazala attack. And Barrow can be a box to box. And big on Fernando for Endombele. Two up front. Um, don't have to change really. I'm going to put these guys on attack. Get, get them forward. We need to put them, push them forward now. It's 2 1. And we need, to, we need to get some out of this game. And right now, nothing, nothing's happening. We've got to change things up. Corner kick. Who wants to bet it's a free header? Who wants box? 
Again, no reaction to the ball in the penalty area. And there we go, 3-1. It's just shit defending, unfortunately. Again, no one worked out. Nobody decided to go out there and get that ball. And that's just not good enough. Um, yeah, very short corner kick. Which, but then suddenly, look. Nobody, nobody. Ricardo doesn't even try and get out to him. And then these guys in the front here don't engage. They're all the passive. And then it's just, it's just shit defending. Um, period. Um, and until we saw that out, we're not winning Champions League. Bruno, is it clear? Sancho, get the ball forward. Bruno, good ball to Haaland. Haaland's front goal. Can he finish it, Erling Haaland? What a useless pile of crap you've been today, mate. <laughs> front goal. He's got to score that. There's no excuse. Um, that's a big moment in the game. That could be gives out a chance. Throw in. Cleared. Romero, down the line to Fernando. Now, can he pick out Haaland in the middle? He's done really well here. Haaland's in there, and now he scores. Dortmund 2, Leipzig 3. We should be 3-3 free, free with the chance he had earlier. Um, well done, Fernando. Great little hold-up play there in turn. And it's all about can he beat his man and get the, or get the ball in the box. He does both. And then Haaland surely can't miss two sitters like that. And he gets the goal back. But it might be too little too late, but maybe not. Last chance of the game. Literally, you know, at the time, Bruno Cousin far post and easy catch. Yeah, too many sloppy goals, just not defending. Well. Again, with second choice goalkeeper in it as well. It's just not ideal, is it? There we go, full time. Leipzig three, Dortmund two. It's a, it, it, same issues again. Just we cannot mark to save our life. I do not. I can I'm. I'm starting to think this team is capable of doing it because um, well, he's he's doing it consistently. Let's say physically tell him to mark that person, but there's certain situations where you're seeing that we can't mark every single person on the pitch. Because otherwise, you have to change everything in five seconds. And I learned from Barcelona on Twitch that if you mark people, you get destroyed. So if you don't mark them, they get free and no one works it out. So it's like, what the hell do you do? Anyway, um, what, what, what else can you say other than great result in the first game, shite in the second. Now, do we do Bayern and Bayern, Barcelona and Bayern, Leverkusen? We could do. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll see what happens next. If we get completely really tanked, in the new in the camp new, I'll then not do the Barcelona game. There, I'll probably do the quarter final instead. Then then do Bayern Munich because if we if we lose four and or something like that, there's no point showing second leggers. There's, there's, there's zero point. Um, so yeah, uh, disappointing result, guys. But anyway, that's how it goes. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. I'll catch you all next time. Don't forget down below is my Twitch channel. I'm on one Wednesday Friday. Uh, with obviously issues affecting that recently. But I'll, I'll try and be live on those days. I may, change, I may change the schedule slightly if this keeps happening with the work. But yeah, the means playing well. We play crap. Anyway, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.